This is so wild. 10 years ago, I spoke about this, and now it's happening. Yu Takagi and Shinji Nishimoto have successfully reconstructed visual memories from human brain activity into this picture form. So I discussed this in 2016 on a YouTube video. Or prefrontal cortex. And then in 2015, I wrote a paper about how humans can communicate via thought communication or consciousness. In the paper, I touched on an Australian scientist who actually reconstructed videos from people's brains using an fMRI scanner. So the images you see above are what the human saw, and the images below are the computer-generated form from the brain. Now skip to 2023, and these two scientists use stable diffusion to encode models of brain activity, using this deionizing process to interpret each component of an LDM, giving this incredible final result of the output of a brain to a computer. So if that was the last eight years of progress, imagine what the next eight years are going to be like. Does that mean something with stable diffusion that uses something like quantum photonics or laser scanning is actually going to be better to measure hemoglobin levels in the brain than something like Neuralink?